Welcome, I'm Foy Dude. <laughs> and has this ever happened to you? Er, yeah. Shannon. F I forgot. There's no need to worry, my space internet friends, because the Anvil C8R Pisces is here. All you need to do is create a medical beacon or ask a nearby physician for professional medical assistance. <laughs> Let's get on. All they need to do is carefully manage to get your broken and bleeding body within range of the convenient and life saving tier 3 medical bed. Daggy is a bit, a bit janky, but it's quite immersive. I love it, dude. We... It looks like you're trying to rip my head off. The highly qualified doctor can put his extensive curative knowledge to good use and demonstrate the correct way to place an incapacitated individual onto the sophisticated built in gurney. <laughs> you can hold onto you here and put into bed. Nice. Okay, I think it's doing it. Oh, wow, the bed comes down. Wait, are you on? Nope, on my screen, I'm still on the floor. <laughs> oh, no, this is not very appropriate. Not to worry, handsome viewers, I will be creating a strongly worded Spectrum Concern thread over this inappropriate and borderline malicious malpractice. In the event that your 75 United States Capitalism Dollar Space Ambulance continues to brutally reject the patient who is still in dire need of medical assistance, you can always resort to the tried and true medical pew pew gun. Man, I have never experienced such great value in such a small ship before. One actual handy tidbit of knowledge you can derive from this video regarding this ship is that the medical Pisces is an instant claim if you have the credits to expedite it, which can be very useful if time is of the essence and your space adventures are as unfortuitous as mine. Just pick a random video from the channel and you'll see what I mean. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Externally, the C8R is practically identical to its non-medical counterpart, except for the fact that this one is red and to misquote a line from the popular Marvel hero Deadpool, it should hide the blood from all the medical rescues that go wrong. To make your presence known, it also has sick Wii U Wii U ambulance lights, much like the superior Drake Cutlass Red. It boasts two size 1 weapon hardpoints and two size 1 single missile racks, but don't let this puny armament fool you as we will discover later in this video. Make our way inside from the ramp that has a big plus sign on it in case you forgot this was a medical vessel, we are greeted with the all size ones component section as well as some professional frosted glass doors. To the starboard we have the dependable tier 3 bed which has ample room for any avatar in need of assistance. To the port we have the medical science laboratory which has two handy storage compartments, a sink because you presumably shouldn't fiddle with people's hemorrhaging internal organs with dirty hands, and a handy medicine and snack cabinet that comes pre-packaged with some grade A medical space drugs, but unfortunately no grade A medical space Jamptonian maze. In a move of incredible added value, there are not one but two epic gamer chairs, although one is pretty because it doesn't have any epic gamer sticks or other controllers built in around it, bring your own own setup. The Anvil C8R Pisces is not only capable of saving lives but easily acts as an intermediary platform to prevent neck breaking falls. No, let me just, uh, oh, someone just fell on top of us. Uh, is it? That was me. <laughs> like its standard counterpart, it remains a joy to fly. Oh, sh this thing Oof. is nippy. Just gonna do a little fly by around this decay here. Get the old joystick out of its condom. Yes, I see you. Dude, this thing is so sweet, dude. Ah! In combat, the medical Pisces is capable of outperforming most ships in its class. However, you need to attach the highly affordable Carrick module to the ship, which then gives you access to a tier 2 medical bed, future jump point scanning solutions, four manable turrets, all boasting two size 4 weapon hardpoints, an impressive array of size 3 components, a ridiculous 456 SEU cargo hold, and a separate vehicle bay. <laughs> There goes that mate. The Drake Corsair, however, is not included in the Carrick module and is unfortunately sold separately. Overall, this really is a handy ship and is a fantastic alternative to the Cutlass Red. I can't wait to be drugged and kidnapped by owners of this ship in the future. IAE has definitely interrupted my usual type of content, so I hope you've been enjoying these quicker videos that I admittedly have been rushing to get out. The normal, longer type videos will continue once IAE is done and dusted, so if you don't enjoy this type of content, stay tuned. Thank Thank you to all my patrons for all your support. Your incredible generosity continues to blow me away. Thinking of pledging to this ludicrous space game? Then use one of the referral codes on screen now for a free 5,000 starting credits. If you enjoy my content and are interested in supporting the channel,
channel beyond a like and a subscribe, check the links in the description. It genuinely helps me to continue producing these videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you around the verse. Cheers. Thank you.